garbage truck is right in front of this truck or his car. And we're going to hang a left over here and hope that this hasn't been picked up. But good morning, everyone. Back for another day. Back for another dollar. I'm still here. You're still here. We're all still here. And, uh, I went out, well, let me just say, I went out yesterday for trash things and then find one thing in the morning and one thing at night. They've been throwing away a bunch of stuff. Nothing this week. So, uh, we'll see what happens this morning. Got a lot of errands to run. So let's make it a fun episode. Find some treasure, do some treasure, pick some treasure. Let's see what happens today. I guess we can say... Oh, no, I want to make a stop first. I was about to say, let's do it, and then we do a little cut, and, um, yeah, you guys know the whole spiel. Let's see what glove we want. It's, uh, super cold here in the morning. Got the garage door open. Or why there is three. I think these are pretty nice. Guy just walked out, started his car. Made eye contact, gave a little head nod, and that was about it. But anyway, let's make it a fun episode. Not going to be a full trash picking episode because, well, it's the morning and doing morning things. But uh, we'll see what happens today. We'll just see what happens. Let's make it a good one. Let's do it. Whole bunch of furniture over here on the right. I don't need a coffee table or a dining room table and four chairs. seen some metal over there that might go on the back of a truck like a pickup truck this some pork kind of doing this one hand this morning because if you guys didn't know about the whole chest mount, I should have just brought my hat mount I don't know why I didn't do that so it would have been a perfect day for a hat mount oh, I got something that says Says, make me an offer. I don't know if that's metal. Definitely made their life a little bit harder, but at least I pulled up far enough, you know. Just curious what that thing was. thought this was metal, but at first I didn't know if it was metal or uh, like plaster. I don't know if it's aluminum. I don't even know if it's metal. It's got to be metal. It doesn't stick to a magnet. Probably scratching up the tops of these. These are not going to be, they're not worth a lot of money, I don't think. Maybe five bucks a piece. This someone would probably want if it wasn't completely rusted out on the bottom. I don't need those dining room chairs. I missed something here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stand. That's heavy. Uh, I don't know if that's... That might not be metal. Is that metal? I think that's plaster. Uh, I'll take it. That's pretty heavy. I still have those U-Haul boxes. I made it one house down. Imagine that. I personally didn't have a lot of uh, 
garbage this week, which, I don't know, when I throw away two trash cans of garbage, with including my own personal garbage, to me, I don't know if I would really consider that a waste, but I know in the summer I get backlogged. Again, as I'll just throw this away in mine, I have plenty of space. But, um, I wouldn't say I feel bad, however, it just sucks because I know in the summer I literally make a pile up in my warehouse of trash because I just have so much. So, I tried doing some organizing yesterday. We'll do some organizing today, but unfortunately, my trash goes out this morning, so I won't be able to make up another trash can filled. Uh, I still have like maybe 10 or so boxes from that storage unit. It's just a matter of where do I put the stuff once it's been sorted, at least the better stuff. My warehouse is pretty full right now. Time of the year? Two, two more weeks or like one and a half weeks. I don't remember if the last video I did was a uh, bolt pick. Oh no, last way a video I did was that yard sale video. Um, I haven't recorded at all in like two or three days, so although I've been posting, I haven't recorded anything fresh or new. It's been a while since I held a camera. Um, but I would say the bulk trash pickup was really successful this past, past week, last week, partially this week. Um, if you guys tagged along for that adventure of a week and enjoyed it, thank you. If you didn't enjoy it, too bad. Uh, but we found a lot of really cool things. I really, I really had a lot of fun. Um, it was action-packed. We found a lot of stuff. It wasn't really a dud. And I, th I think for the majority, uh, most people did enjoy it. So it was really, it was really cool. If you haven't checked out some of those videos, I know one video did really well. I don't know if it's my first video, the one with the exorbitant amount of clickbait on the on the photo. Um, but it was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Oh, we got another heater, man. We're finding a lot of stuff. I could have made this into a full trash picking episode. But no, we'll, we'll do other things probably. Well, maybe we'll, we'll see what happens, you know? The only sad part I say it every time is now we have to wait like three months, four months until the next season of it. Usually the only bad part about it is I'm, I'm, I'm a huge advocate, it'd be nice if it was once a month. In fact, there's a lot of things I wish it was once a month. Um, and it used to be once a month for a lot of things, but times have changed and everything's kind of spaced out over the years. Oh, well, made it home for the first pit stop. All of this has to go to the post office. eBay was pretty good this week. Uh, I decided to actually run a bunch of auctions and then send out a bunch of best offers uh, to people. Just got to try and make space here for spring cleanup. It's, uh, it's getting a little hectic in my house. It's also as excited. But we're out to, uh, well, we're out to the thrift store to drop off donations. And then we're also off to the post office. The case of all, it's worth three bucks, but I don't need it. I have 20 of them. Back in my earlier days of auctions, I bought a bunch of boxes that had them. Whew. Wonder if all the pieces are in there. 1991, wow, or 1999. I don't know when the movie came out, but I feel like it was around that time period. Last time I was here, they had a sterling uh, coffee cup. But it was just a lid that was sterling. The rest of it was plated. Let's see what color's on sale. Yeah, it looked like this, but the top was sterling. I thought it was really interesting. Somebody must have bought it. 
lot of people commented on my nutcracker. This one's for chestnuts. This would definitely not work for a walnut. A lot of people said they just use a hammer for walnuts, and that thing wouldn't actually crush a walnut because a walnut's too strong. I did not think of that. Just thought it was junk, but no, you might be right. It just might not be strong enough to crush a walnut. All right, made it home. One thing I do enjoy is I do. Oh, one thing I do enjoy is reading comments. So this was on one of my previous videos. It says turn it over the broom, and I think this is a reference to what I mentioned in this video about how my broom was smacking against the back of the uh, the wall. So uh, we're gonna try that. I'll try that. You might be onto something. I responded. Let's see what happens. Still need to get stone delivered at some point. Ay -ay -ay. Gotta take those out also. That was actually a good idea. So somebody said flip over the broom, so I assume they probably mean I don't think that's gonna that might work. I don't think there's enough space there. Ah, you might be onto something. I mean it still does that, but it's pretty tight in there. Oh, we gotta push it farther up. Oh. Yeah, the higher I have this up. The less it's going to slap, I think. All right, well, I appreciate that. It only took me, what, three years? We could probably also just figure this out and put the padding that I said, or just get another one of these. That would also solve the problem. I think I only had one to begin with, so it's not like I lost one. Uh, but let's see. Uh, well, that might just solve the problem. All right, so a day of pretty much just reading comments and doing what you guys say. Uh, someone also suggested that I have to trap that... Uh, have to trap that that squirrel that's in my my warehouse and they said do it with peanut butter so we're going to try that all right so it should should have a trap in here what the heck uh all right so there's a trap i need I came in here yesterday, that was all still in a box, and there was a piece of cardboard like right over there. That piece of cardboard is gone, and everything's just thrown here. There's a hole over there. Huh. Well, long story short, I guess I got ammo in here too. I don't know what he did with that piece of car. He must have, must have dragged it right down that hole. You can't see it because of the shadow, but there's like 15 pieces of metal right here. It looks like one large piece. No, it's like 15. But since the sun's coming in, it looks like one large piece. All right. Well, hopefully the guy can get stuck in here. All right, so now what do I do with this trap? I was thinking I was going to just put it down on the ground. Uh, he scared me again. Yes, I don't know if he's coming through that up there. The biggest idea is he's probably coming through that big door. Because there's so many cracks around it. He's probably just running up to it, coming underneath, or scaling the, the door and coming in through the top. But he likes to hang out up there. I just don't know where to put this thing. I also didn't bring a plate because I was going to just put it on like I have toilet paper, I have paper towels. I don't think I have any tissues. I've been using a toilet paper as tissues because I got that one storage unit that had just so much toilet paper. I was like, I'll just use these as tissues up here. So I don't I thought I had paper towels. I hope he doesn't mind eating expired peanut butter. I'm pretty sure it's just fine. You don't want to talk about smelling. All right, I'm not one of those like people who like really feel. I'll just leave it how you feel. One, you say. What... I'll just say this. I'm not a huge fan of these two-sided traps. We'll just make it like very easy here. I'm not a fan of these two-sided traps. Um, they're very difficult for me to set. And they seem to like, I won't say pop open, but since they're so small, they don't weigh anything, they fall over a lot. The animal gets really upset. 
I mean, that's where it's going to be. I, I don't know if it's going to work well, but that's where it's going to be. Where, I have no idea where to put it in like a building like this. Like sometimes you'd put it like by a hole or if you see his nest, you'll put it that like, I have no idea where you'd want to put that. So I'm just putting it on the ground because I've seen walnuts on the ground. So I assume he probably walks around in here, but for anything, you'd be playing hopscotch up on this stuff. All right. So this is flea market stuff. Whatever uh, thing that I had in the last time we were up here, they're like uh, just a couple of package packages or packs. It wasn't Kodak. It was another brand. Uh, but I sold on eBay and it sold within like 12 hours and me listed them. But uh, yeah, so whatever. It wasn't for much. It was like 15 bucks or so. But um, that came from that storage unit. So let's knock out at least like one or two more boxes while I have it. I really kind of been just now piling stuff over there. Because I wanted to get this area cleaned out. But it's like, I go through it and then it's like, where do I put it? Um, and also, it's, it's been maybe about an hour since the last clip when I put the trap there. Trap's still there. No squirrel. I don't want to like leave it for like two days because I'd feel awful. But I'll check in on it. Glass work. Lebanon, New Jersey. Oh, well, it's a good thing I looked at that. Almost sliced my whole finger off. Let's see if I have some sort of glove up here. At least something that can at least resist a little bit. Thought I had gloves. Worst problem. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to wait on that one box and go on to the next box. Probably the move would be to go through that box, take out the stuff like when I have a glove. I swear I had like a whole bunch of packs I just got from that house clean out. What would be smart though is to go through the box. And then take out everything that will sell or donate. So something like this, I'm donating that. And then everything else will be put into a different box. And I'll throw away that box because you're never going to find every little piece of glass that's in there. So we'll just have to hold on on that one. Go on to the next box. Mugs. Oh man. I'll probably get donated. Let's see what kind of mugs we're even looking at here. Yeah, they're probably gonna throw this all out. I don't think there's anything great in here. Sometimes some of the vintage mugs. Who the heck would have bought that? That's for like Scott's like, is that for like the seeds that you put in your, your yard? There might be some funny ones. That was not that funny. Uh, the basketball guy, he loves he loves mugs, even though he doesn't really sell a lot of them. He tries to, but he says like he does like uh, he does like picking them up from time to time. That's kind of cool. Great Smoky Mountains. I mean, he doesn't want, like, Christmas mugs, but oddball stuff is kind of cool. These are very common. That's plastic. I'm not going to want that anyway. Stuff of flowers. Very difficult to see. There you go again. Valentine's Day just passed. But I'll I'll go ahead and donate the rest of these and then they can throw them out if they want to throw them out. I will not throw them out. Um 
the thrift store I was just at today. I didn't get anything. But uh, their mug section was full. A lot of stuff wasn't full. In fact, they didn't have um heck the word they they didn't have a uh they didn't have like any cookware. They had like two pots um or two pans. Two pots or pans, whatever the heck they were. Um but literally the entire shelf was just empty. And it was just truly amazing to me because I, I just have a feeling like if people donate like a ton of stuff and I still can't figure out where this stuff goes because for some reason it seems like the shelves are always empty at some thrift stores and the other thrift stores they're like completely full of just clutter. Uh, but we'll go ahead. This thing is plastic. This is going to get tossed. I don't even know what kind of plastic that is, but probably stuff you don't want to drink out of anymore. Fall of technology evolving. But we'll donate this box. The first time I sold at Columbus this year, um, I brought one of these containers of yarn, and uh, it took a, probably about uh, four hours or five hours before someone asked me about it, and uh, the person really nickled and dyed me uh, to the point where like I finally gave them a price, and then they needed change, and they gave me like I don't know like a twenty, and it, it I don't know what the, the price was, and then they felt bad they were giving me such a high dollar denomination that they almost didn't buy it. That's how much they didn't want to buy it. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant really to keep it, but with the market opening up, I'll run this one or two times. I know I have about four other bins of this yarn. It's just that it's old, and when it gets old, it sometimes gets brittle and just rips. So it's really hit or miss, but I'll keep that one for one more time, or at least two times. Like if I bring that, it doesn't sell the first week. I'll bring like three the next week, and then if they don't sell, they're all just getting tossed. That's the way I'm going to do it. Let's see what's in this box. I don't know if it's going to want that, but... Tupperware with some sort of food in it, and it's solid shut. Nope, not doing it. If it was empty, a different case, but when it's solid, it's not the best. These are kind of nice. Japan, yeah, these are nice. Or chipmunks? Now what is this? That's not a salt and pepper shaker. Dog with a fire hydrant. Tail as old as time. I have to look those up. That's probably junk. That's probably junk. Cookie jars missing the lid. Unless that, that might be the lid. There you go. Peppermint NASCAR mints. You think they're still good? Some NASCAR person might want that. Alright, this might just be flea market. Looks like the rest of that. Not really a high high ticket free market item, but this I just know won't sell. It's half faded off. I guess I'll just throw it on the pile over here. Lastly, I want to open up this one package I got from Bill and Jean, or Bill and Jen, I should say. Uh, this is from Massachusetts. I received this package uh, probably about two and a half weeks ago. Sent out March 6th, so probably around there. But uh, thank you to Bill and Jen uh, for sending this to my P.O. box. If anyone out there wants to send anything to my P.O. box, it is in the description below. I know I don't do mail time specific videos, but uh, I wanted to open this up and uh, I saw it was marked fragile. It's got what looks like a letter. So I do thank you guys and girls for always supporting me and saying me great things. This looks like it might be a dinner plate just in time for Easter. Got a little letter. Two Mr. Taco stacks. Oh, and a little monetary gift. So thank you, Bill and Jen, for the $5 donation. Thank you for your content. We just found your videos on YouTube a few months ago, so we are late to the party. Your videos inspired us, and we have started buying lockers ourselves. Here's your prize from one of our locker purchases. We refer to you as the Godfather. 
Please keep up the good work and tell us also we said hi. Bill and Jen from Massachusetts. P.S. Have a coffee on us. So I guess I guess this is for the coffee, and then this was the locker fine. It's a plate from Pennsylvania. Or at least it's Pennsylvania plate. Plate designed by Vernon Kilns in USA. Vernon Kilns. That's a cool looking plate. I'm trying to get it without the, the sun on it. So Bill and Jen, thank you for the wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and like I said, anyone out there wants to say anything, my P.O. Box uh, information is in the description below. And I'll try to address it in a future video, but just bear with me. Like, this is from, like, March 6th or 8th. Uh, so it's a little, I'm a little bit late to the party, just like you might be a little late to the party with my channel. Uh, but we're not going anywhere. We're still going to be putting out great videos here for the rest of the year. So thank you, Bill and Jen. Greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, so that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Uh, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below. We should be back to trash picking tomorrow morning, so that should be a fun adventure. Uh, full trash picking video, that is. But uh, I got some things done up in here very, very soon, very close to flea market season. Just uh, just shy under two weeks. So now we just have to hope for nice weather for the month of April. And uh, Hopefully I can get some things done around here once that happens. So thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.